Alrighty, so this is going to be a reading for my Pisces. Thank you so much for joining me here. This is going to be a look at your person's current feelings for you from now until the 11th of January. So let's get straight into it. If you are new here, welcome. Make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell if you'd like to see more of my readings. And if you would like a personal consultation with me um, via the phone, um, make sure you check out my website, which is going to be listed in the description box. So let's see what's going on. Pisces, their person's current feelings for them from now until the 11th of January. Okay. So we have the lovers, the knight of pentacles. Oh, hold on. Okay. <laughs> um, the temperance card, seven of pentacles, the three of pentacles, death card, the king of cups, and then the eight of pentacles. Okay. And then Pisces. The current love interest, your feelings for them from the moments of the eleventh. Okay, so we have give your relationship a chance. It says work on your partnership. And then we also have true love. And it says this is a romance of a lifetime. So let's dive straight into this. So Pisces, your person's current feelings for you or your love interest's current feelings for you. Um, they feel as if the relationship or the connection that you guys have built with each other has really taught them a lot as far as like them needing to understand that they don't know everything in terms of love. It's like this relationship may have been so different than what they're used to, especially if they are used to a pattern of toxic relationships or relationships that just really don't go anywhere. Um, this is like more of an evolved or next level type of relationship that they've gotten to experience with you and through that they feel like you guys have basically learned a lot about each other but also like I said personally this person feels like they've developed new ways of handling things um in terms of love through experiences in this connection um, they feel like the relationship, though, overall, it does need some work because you guys have been through so much together, especially if this is I'm, I'm really speaking to my people who have been with their person for a while now um, with this part. Um, since you guys have been together for so long and basically grown with each other, there's a lot of trauma that you guys have experienced with each other as well in the process. And they feel like you guys need to work diligently to rebuild this connection to a point to where it used to be or to a better point. Um, with the Knight of Pentacles, they feel like it's going to take some time for that to happen. But there's like minor details of this relationship that need to be worked out in terms of likes and dislikes and being able to acknowledge what in this relationship has not been working from the get go. Um, they feel like also you may need to work on patience or your ability to work with this person like emotionally whenever there's arguments like you guys being able to come to a common ground emotionally and it not get too escalated into bigger situations as well. Um, they're trying to be patient though. They're really analyzing the relationship for what it is for right now, especially if there has been third party situations in this connection at one point, or just a lack of cooperation, like overall, like just problems with you guys being able to get things together, work well together, um, regardless of what the circumstance is. And also, if there was, like I said, an infidelity issue, they know that it's going to take some time for you to get over that or for you to even get over it at all. Mm. 
Mm. But yeah, for a lot of you, they feel like if you guys can't come to some sort of agreement on how you guys can work better with each other, then it may be better for you guys to separate. So right now they're just more in like overlooking the relationship mode. Um, but with the give yourself, no, not give yourself, with the give your relationship a chance card here, like I said, they're trying to remain patient. They're still trying to give this a chance regardless of what has happened at this point and how they may be feeling because they truly love you with the true love card. There's deep, profound love here. This is somebody who you have like a beyond beyond just what meets the eye type of connection with like this is spiritual this is deep a lot of trials and tribulations that went down with this connection and for my people who are like newly dating someone um they would like to take things slow they don't really want to just rush straight into a relationship um this is also them wanting to kind of fill you out and be patient. They want you to also have a level of patience with them as well. Because like I said, they may not be somebody who just jumps straight into relationships because of things that they may have went through in their past. Um, but yes, they want you to be patient with them. They're really trying to analyze the connection they have with you so far. Um, if you guys are dating someone else, they want you to kind of uh, make up your mind in terms of that. If they're dating someone else and it's like out in the open, um, they're trying to make a decision on whether or not they're going to end things there and just work strictly on this connection. Hmm. And for others of you, the reason why they're taking su such a, a slow route in terms of getting into a relationship may be due to the fact that they've gotten cheated on in their past connection and they don't want that to be a repeat. So they're trying to be diligent. But they're willing to see where things will go. But this is what I see. Thank you so much for watching this. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely make sure that you thumbs this video up and subscribe. Um, if you want a personal consultation with me, um, make sure that you check out the description box and pick the date and time that works best for you to speak on the phone. I have to make that reminder. And yes, I will see each and every one of you in the next one. I hope you guys enjoy 2021 or the first month of 2021. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, Pisces.